please ensure that you have the correct writing equipment with you and your class books in front of you. As you make your way through the video lesson, take clear notes. For the your turn section, show full workings with your model question. Listen to instructions, pause to complete work, continue and mark work. Ask your classroom teacher for support if need. So today's main title is triangular number sequences. Make sure you get the main title down along with the date you are completing the lesson. To recap, we have looked at so far Patterns are objects in an order, patterns follow rules, so we know what will happen next. Sequences are number patterns. Some number patterns have special names because of the shapes they make. For example, square numbers form a pattern of growing squares, so you saw this last lesson. Okay, have a look at the four patterns on the screen. I have four triangles. It goes one, three dots, six dots, ten dots. So based on how they have formed these first four patterns, draw the next two patterns and write down the next two numbers under the next two patterns. Once you have done that, come back to the video. OK, so the first four patterns looked something like one, the first four on the left hand side. They're just not blue, but essentially that is what the pattern was showing. It went one, three, six, ten. If you added the next pattern, you added a row of dots at the bottom. So you added five dots at the bottom. And if you counted the dots, you would have got 15. And for the next one, you added six dots to the bottom this time. And if you counted the dots here, you would get 21. So essentially, you, the triangle is just growing with a new row of dots at the bottom each time with an extra dot at the bottom. What you have just worked out is a triangular number sequence, a number that can make a triangular dot pattern. For example, 1, 3, 6, 10 and 15 are triangular numbers. If you have a look at the dots, it goes 1 dot, 3 dots, 6 dots, 10 dots and 15 dots, just like you had previously in square numbers. Each square number made a square. For triangular numbers, each triangular number makes a triangle, as you can see on the screen. So let's have a look at that forming. We have one dot, add two at the bottom, get a triangle with three dots, add three at the bottom, we get a triangle with six dots. Add four at the bottom, we get triangle with four dots. If you think back on the one that you tried yourself at the beginning, this is essentially what you did. And you go from 10 to 15, add six dots. This time you get 21. So these are the first six triangular numbers. Obviously, if we go further and further and further and make this triangle bigger and bigger and bigger, we would get the rest of the triangular numbers. Or triangle numbers. Okay, there's a question on the screen. It says copy and complete. So you have the first three done for you. Copy the first three with the answers and then write the bottom three and complete. So tell me what they equal. And for B, tell me what special numbers are your answers. Can you think of a link with what we have just looked at? Once you have done that, come back to the video. Okay, if you did 1, add 2, add 3, add 4, you would have got 10. Okay, let's have a look at the answer. So 1, add 2, add 3, add 4 gives me 10. 1, add 2, add 3, add 4, add 5 gives me 15. 1, add 2, add 3, add 4, add 5. And the missing number here would be add 6, would give me 21. What special numbers are your answers? So think back on the triangular numbers or the triangle numbers we just looked at. Can you notice a link between all of these numbers and the triangle numbers? So what's special about them? You can see that all the answers make the triangle numbers. So think back, the first triangle number was one, the second one was three, three dots made the second triangle, six dots made the third triangle, 10 dots made the fourth triangle, and so on. So 
The link between this and the triangular numbers is if you add consecutive numbers together, you essentially get the triangle numbers 1 at 2, 1 at 2 at 3, 1 at 2 at 3 at 4, 1 at 2 at 3 at 4 at 5, 1 at 2 at 3 at 4 at 5 at 6. So you know for the next triangular number, you would do 1 at 2 at 3 at 4 at 5 at 6, add 7. Think of the rows you are adding at the bottom. If you look at the rows at the bottom, you are essentially adding the next number up. So we have 3 here, we're adding 4. And then we have 4 there, we are adding 5. And we have 5 there, we are adding 6. This is why all of these work. And this is why, what makes triangular numbers or a triangle sequence so special. Okay, note that the difference between each term increases by 1 as you move along the sequence. So if I then put this as a sequence, and I write it as 1, 3, 6, 7, 10, sorry, 6, 10, 15, 21, 28, and I look at the difference between the terms, so I look at it in a different way. The first difference is 2, the second difference is 3, the third difference is 4, the fourth difference is 5, and so on. So each time you are adding the next consecutive number. So for the next one, you would add 8, and for the next one, you would add 9. Again, think back, we're adding the next number of dots. So this time they've looked at it sideways, but we're doing the same thing. We have two there, so we are adding three here, and then we are adding four here, which is why this works. You can also look at triangle numbers using squares. It will give you the same thing. One square, three square, six square, ten square, and so on. And you can also look at it using dots, as we have done previously. Okay, have a read of the question on the screen. Once Have a go at part B once you have done that. It says describe how to find the 8th, 9th and 10th triangle number without drawing the diagrams. So think back on everything we have just looked at. You should have made notes as we went through it. You can go back in the video and see what we went over without drawing the shape 8, shape 9 and shape 10. How do we work the number of dots out? Once you have done that, come back to the video and we will go through it. Okay, so the link you noticed is to work out the first triangular number, you just do one. To work out the second one, you do one at two. To work out the third one, you do one at two at three. So however many, um, whatever place you are in the sequence, in this time for eight, you add that many consecutive numbers together. So we add the numbers one to eight. 1 at 2 at 3 at 4 at 5 at 6 at 7 at 8 equals 36. For the ninth one, therefore, we add 1 at 2 at 3 at 4 at 5 at 6 at 7 at 8, add 9. However, I don't need to write that whole thing again because I know the eighth one is 36 dots. We do 36, add 9, and that would give me 36 and 9 would give me 45. So for that one, it would be 45 dots. That one would be 36 dots. And for the tenth one, we do 45 add 10. Again, we don't need to add all of them up together because we have the ninth one. We just add 10 on. Remember, you add 9, so the next one you add 10. That would give me 55 dots. Or the If you look at it as triangular numbers for eighth, it would just be 36, for 9th it would be 45, and for 10th it would be 55. Okay, it's a deep in it style question. It says, John is adding consecutive triangular numbers. He says, when I add consecutive triangular numbers, I get another kind of special number. What does John get? Remember, consecutive means next to each other. If we have two consecutive triangle numbers, it means they are next to each other. So, one and a three, three and six, and so on. Have a go, once you've done that, come back to the video. Okay, let's explore. So what have we got? I have put the first seven triangle numbers on the board. Let's have a look at adding some pairs of consecutive triangle numbers. One at three gives me four, 
3 at 6 gives me 9, 6 at 10 gives me 16, 10 at, 20, at 10 at 15 gives me 25, 15 at 21 gives me 36, and so on. What do you notice about each of these answers? So I had 4, 9, 16, um, I had 10 at 15, which is 25, 15 at 21, which is 36, 21 at 48, 28, which is 49. What do you notice? Well, we notice that they are all square numbers. So when we add any two consecutive triangular numbers, we get square numbers. OK, we now have a diagnostic style question. It says, which of these sequences is not a square number, cube number or triangular number sequence? So have a look and spot which one does not belong. So which one is not square, cube or triangle? Once you have done that, come back to the video. So you may notice that the first one is actually our triangle numbers. So it can't be that. It's 1, 3, 6, 10, 15, 21 and so on. The next one is our square numbers at the bottom. So I'm looking at C here, 1, 4, 9, 16, 25. Can't be that. We look here. These are our cube numbers. 1 times 1 times 1 is th uh, 1. 2 times 2 times 2 is 8. 3 times 3 times 3 is 27. So these are our cube numbers. So it can't be B. Therefore, the answer it is is D. So which of these sequences is not a square, cube or triangle numbers? The answer is D. OK, another deep in it style question. It says a supermarket manager wants to display grapefruit stacked in layers, each of which is a triangle. These are the first four layers. A, if the display is four layers deep, how many grapefruit will there be in the display? B, the manager tells her staff that there should be there should not be any more than eight layers, otherwise the fruit will get squashed. What is the most grapefruit that could, could be stacked? So have a think about this question, link it back to the triangle numbers, look at the image, it's making triangles. Try this question, once you have done that, come back to the video. Okay, for part A, you may have noticed that each layer is a triangular number starting with one. So if the display is four layers deep, how many grapefruit would you have? Then you would just add the first four triangle numbers together. One, add three, add six, add 10, which is 20. So the answer for part A would be 20. If you counted each grapefruit on the screen, so if I counted here, I had one, three, six, and then four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I added all those up, I would get 20. Part B, the manager tells the staff there should be not there should not be any more than eight layers, otherwise the fruit will get squashed. How what is the most grapefruit that could be stacked? So essentially we know that each layer is going up in the triangular number sequence. So the first four layers is one, three, six, ten. The next four layers will be the next four triangle number triangular numbers, which we know is ten, uh, sorry, fifteen, twenty-one, twenty-eight, and thirty-six, because we're doing add two, add three, add four to get to ten. So to get to the next one, you do add five, which is fifteen, fifteen add six, twenty-one, twenty-one add seven is twenty-eight, twenty-eight add seven is thirty-six. We then add the first eight triangular numbers together, and that gives me 120. So we know if we have eight stacks, it would be the first eight triangular numbers. It would this sequence carried on that way as each layer gets bigger and bigger. So the maximum number is 120 grapefruits. OK, we have a twist it style question on the screen. It says 231 and 253 are consecutive triangular numbers. What is the next number? Again, have a think about the link between the difference between each triangular number. And then try this question. Once you have done that, come back to the video. OK, let's start off by looking at the difference between 231 and 253. The difference between 231 and 253 is 22. We know in a triangular number sequence, every difference is one more than the last difference. So if the difference is between these two and the consecutive, they're next to each other, is 23, 
So if I write that as a sequence, 231, 253, I want to work out the next one. If that difference is 23, therefore the next difference, sorry, if that difference is 22, the next difference is 23. So we do 253 add 23, which gives me 276. Therefore, my answer is 276. Okay, it's now time for you to complete some independent practice as set by your classroom teacher.